Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. So Easter weekend, today's Friday morning and we're uh, all packed, well I'm packed. Mrs is gonna come up tomorrow. We're gonna go up to our Polly's place up at Gloucester. It's a super nice uh, family friendly campground. They've got a nice river that runs through the property and you can camp right down beside the water. They accommodate for big vans and stuff like that too. They've got some big open paddocks and things like that. So really nice place. I'll give you guys a look at this place and um, just another one. This is uh, the second camping trip version that I've put on the channel. So the first one was up at Glenbourne Dam for my mate's uh, buck show. So this is just another trip guys and there's many more to come over the next few months of little trips that we're going to do up to different spots um, around New South Wales, national parks and all that sort of stuff um, coming up. So today we're at the Polys, Gloucester. So we've got everything set up um, in the back of the truck. Um, well, 90% of it's kind of set up. I've got that uh, battery in there and everything now. So that'll be next weekend's video. I'll do a full review on that system. Once I get it properly installed, it's just temporary at the moment. But um, yeah, and we'll go from there. So. Everything's uh, in the back of the truck, guys. I've got all my uh, sleeping gear here, and I've got the swag up the front. Um, I've got a box of firewood just here, and um, fridges full of beers. So, drawers, I've got everything else I need, camp chairs, all that sort of stuff. So, we're uh, pretty much ready to go. So, let's uh, pack this bad boy up, and uh, let's get out of here. So I'll just give you guys a sneaky little update on the trailer build. So last week I sent everything to the engineer. So we're gonna, I've sent him the CAD drawings and everything that I've done um, on the iPad. So he's super happy with that. The files come across great. So he's now gonna try and get the chassis designed up to accommodate the body. Um, running the uh, ATX Cruise Master suspension and all that sort of stuff. So he's gonna design the chassis up for me first. And then once the chassis is designed, then we'll uh, go ahead and start building the body and stuff like that. But I really want to get the chassis done first, make sure there's no flaws and stuff um, that we haven't thought about, and make sure everything's going to be sweet. So that's where the trailer's up to at the moment, guys. So yeah, we are in engineering right now, so it's all ticking over right now. So I'm super happy. Um, I've kind of put a bit of a deadline on the trailer when I would like to see it, the, the prototype built. So with everything else that's going on, I've got to earn the money to build the trailer and all that sort of stuff. So for right now, I'm trying to aim for um, this big Sydney four-wheel drive show in 2020. That's when I'm trying to aim for, we're already 2019, we're already nearly halfway through the year. So that's going to give me, I'm pretty sure it's in October, the end of October. So a little over 12 months, guys, to try and get this thing uh, uh, knocked out um, and get it built. So. It's a tight deadline, but um, we'll see how we go. Hopefully, um, don't run into too many hurdles. The biggest hurdle is just going to be money. That's going to be the biggest hurdle is just trying to, to get the money together to try and build it. Um, yeah, so, and then once the prototype's built, guys, I'll uh, hopefully be at that show with the F truck and also with the new trailer, and we'll do a full launch down there of the new trailer. And um, then every other show after that, I'm going to try and tour as much as I can with it to every show um, so that way everybody can uh, check it out and uh, see what they think so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to go off guys I'm, I'm everyone that I've shown so far uh, close people to me already want one they already want to put an order in for one so it's um, definitely family friendly van super quick to pack up it's it's built to go anywhere you can absolutely abuse the shit out of it so it should be a good thing so hopefully october next year we'll be at the sydney show but i'll keep you guys updated as the uh the progress of the trailer keeps going by so let's uh let's go camping in the meantime so guys the place we're going today it's called gloucester and it's called poley's place so it's just a little campground. There's many campgrounds in Gloucester, but if you're wondering where it is, it's in New South Wales. But if you go up the coast and go to about Foster and then go inland, you'll see Gloucester. So it's pretty much straight straight in west of uh, Foster that's on the coast. So it's probably, oh, I'd say two hours from Newcastle. Um, it's kind of northwest um in that kind of area so it's really nice town guys it's absolutely amazing there's a few uh camping companies that are actually out of that place so drifter for everybody that knows drifter 
Um, they're actually based in Gloucester, but it's an absolutely lovely little town and the river is its main attraction. So um, plenty of kayaking and all that sort of stuff around there, guys. So it's absolutely, it's one of my favorite places to go. So I've been going there ever since I was a little kid. So it's definitely uh, something I enjoy doing. So let's, uh, we'll show you guys and you can check it out. So. Hey guys, so we've just hit Gloucester. I'll just give you guys a quick look at uh, from out the top of the lookout here. Yeah, so it's a really nice place, guys. Very family friendly camping and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so we'll get down here and we'll go and check out Polly's now and um, show you guys where we're going to set up camp for the weekend. Guys, as you can see, got the swag set up, quick shade set up, got the firewood out ready to go. Uh, pretty much all set up here now. There's the F truck. So this whole campground, guys, is based in. Um, it, it floods pretty bad in here, so it's all kind of riverbed. It's all river rock, um, kind of camping. But it's um, there's lots of grass, guys. So it's super family friendly for the kids, and just a nice little campground. Really cool in summer. We're going to get water. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole scene. That's the whole movie. <laughs> you got one water jug. Yep. You got the other. That's got all. Oh. I chop it up and edit it. Anyway, Mate, you're so. gonna need some new suspension in your truck. <laughs> Body's on guys, gonna go for a swim now, so we'll go check out the river. Alright guys, well it's uh, Easter morning, beautiful uh, sunrise coming up, all the kids are running around grabbing Easter eggs, it's so nice here in the morning, nice and cool in the trees, lots of Easter eggs. Alright guys, so we're at Gloucester's Crossing right now, up in the Barringtons, and it's absolutely amazing. You can come down here and just chill out in the water. It's a bit cool today, a little bit fresh, but it's uh, it's very, very refreshing and very nice, so come and check it out.
Hey guys, so it's uh, now Monday afternoon. I just finished unpacking the, the truck. Just got all our camp gear out. But um, Polly's place, absolutely awesome. Um, I love going up Gloucester. Just the countryside up there is just so nice. Um, it's really high adventure area too, guys. So if you're into kayaking and that sort of stuff, make sure you visit the information center, the local information center. And they should be able to give you a bunch of details on different kayak companies that operate out of that area. Um, I've done it before. I've gone from right up the top near the uh, the Barringtons and then kayaked all the way down to Polly's place. It takes nearly all day to get down. But guys, go when the water's uh, reasonably high, so make sure you check the flow rates. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It was probably one of the funnest days I ever had was uh, ripping down through there. This is a few years ago. This is probably about oh, close to 10 years ago I did it, and it was um, it was awesome. But um, a lot of kayakers get up there, guys, so make sure you uh, check that out if you're into kayaking. It's something really cool. Also, Polly's Place, make sure you call ahead. Um, I'll put a link in the description, their contact information, and the town, and the, the what the place was called that I was at. Just call ahead and uh, make sure that they're open. Um, for the weekend that you're choosing to go up there. Long weekends, school holidays, you all know how it works. It gets very busy, so uh, make sure you uh, either plan ahead to get up there earlier, if possible, um, or phone them and ask them what sort of volume they're catering for um, at that stage, and they can probably give you a good uh, estimate on how many people are there. And whether you still want to go or not, if you don't like crowds, then um, yeah, so. But guys, I would highly recommend to uh, go up to Rocky Crossing as well. So that's the footage of where I was driving the F truck through the water. It's absolutely awesome up there. Go out there, hang out for the day, and uh, just kick it there in the in the river, uh, the rock pools and everything. It's a good time up there too. So anyway, guys, so that was uh, the Gloucester camping at Polly's trip. And um, coming up this weekend, I'm probably going to do a review on that uh, power top. That's that uh, Baintech um, third battery that I bought for the F truck. It's the V2 version. So I'd like to do a review on that. I used it all weekend, it was really good. So I'll give you guys a full rundown on that um, this weekend and uh, show you pretty much why I put it in the F truck and um, the reasons, yeah, basically why I picked that unit and didn't go with more of a inbuilt setup on the F truck. I did want that portability, so that's why that unit kind of went with that unit um, anyway guys I will uh, talk to you on the weekend catch you later